Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your love reading for March 2023. We're going to see what you can expect, what's coming forward, what's going on in Sagittarius love life, okay? So we're going to get some of your energy. And when I'm meditating on your energy, um, Sagittarius, I feel a heaviness. I feel something... Something's going on. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. We have the, the Ten of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look at this energy, Sagittarius. I feel like... Whatever's coming forward for you in March is going to be very happy. Um, I feel like it gets leading you into your happiness, into something new, something vibrant. Whatever you're leaving behind, you're walking away from something and leaving pieces of yourself as you go. But I feel like you're, you're happy. You're vibrant. I feel like there's a new offer right around the corner. You can expect someone to offer you a cup of love, a cup of romance, you know. Some kind of offer that's going to be very fulfilling for you. Look at all these knights and pages. So much communication coming in for Sagittarius. And I feel like it's really valuable information. I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for. Something that is coming forward that, you know, you're really... Not expecting since you're leaving something, but I feel like you're actually walking right into this new invitation, and you may not even realize it. So, in March, I feel like there's going to be things that are unexpected, but it's going to lead to happiness. Okay, definitely, definitely, you're, you're walking into happiness something that you've been waiting for Sagittarius but I feel like you're growing you're discovering something new okay there's something new coming into your life very unexpectedly but I feel like this is very exciting energy very exciting and very fulfilling this is at this we have pinnacle energy and cup energy wands energy very exciting news coming in for you something that's gonna make you it's gonna be a reason to celebrate look at this we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles so this situation is going to be a reason to celebrate this is something that you've been waiting for something that is coming towards you very quickly. I feel like this love interest is very valuable to you. You're looking towards the future with this person. You're excited about a, set of, a celebration that is about to happen. Maybe there's an anniversary, a get together, a birthday, or maybe even a wedding. Okay, because I feel like there's excitement anticipating this celebration. Wow, maybe it is a wedding. The Hierophant. Right after this celebration. So it could be a proposal. A celebration of proposal. But I feel like the person who is giving you this offer is keeping it secret. They're holding it very close to them. You know, you may not know this is coming because this person is keeping it very close to them. They're supporting this information. They're keeping it close because they value this. This is your stability. This King of Pentacles represents 
something solid on the way okay and I believe it's gonna bring you a lot of sharing a lot of gifts so many pinnacles in this reading this could be an earth sign that's coming close to you it could be an earth sign a Virgo Capricorn Taurus but it doesn't have to be but I feel like this person wants to share their stability share their wealth their knowledge their well-being you know this is definitely some kind of marriage material and I feel like you're anticipating this to happen but I feel like you have no idea what is around the corner so this is very unexpected information that you'll be receiving but when you receive this information it is going to be mind blowing okay this is a wealth of knowledge a wealth of communication that you will be receiving that this person wants to provide you you have a solid offer here and a lot of excitement looking towards the future happiness I even see marriage so this very well could be a soulmate situation okay let's get some love cards for Sagittarius let's see what's going on for Sagittarius <clears throat> we have sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred definitely what I was feeling this is something this is a, a union coming together okay imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light and creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life I definitely feel like this is very unexpected but I feel like this this is bringing you so much happiness you have the ten of Pentacles and the ten of cups we have only time will tell so I feel like the universe wants to keep your secret as well so I feel like what your person has planned for you is something amazing that's only meant for your eyes okay um, but I feel like when you see this you're gonna be excited planning for the future you know this three of wands energy this is also expansion also maybe traveling so you and this person may decide to travel to another destination um, but I feel like there's a lot of exploration going on, you know, um, but I feel like it's all so very exciting. Okay. Oh, I know I messed up everything. What is that about? you don't know how hard it was to let you go so there's someone that you had to let go of we see that here with the knight of pentacles there there's someone that you had to let go of is this this person coming back to give you this offer this proposal so many things remind me of you so there is someone deeply thinking about you they can't get you off of their mind I wish I had treated you better yeah this may definitely be a past love coming in someone that didn't really want to let you go someone who didn't want to move I'm getting move away. You were the best thing in my life. 
So tell me, Sagittarius, what is this information? Is this someone coming back? I do see this proposal here. This proposal feels new, but there is someone that walked away or that you let go of. And I feel like that person is coming through very strongly. I love you unconditionally. So maybe this person from the past sees that you're happy in your present moment and sees that someone else may have your heart and now they're trying to come back to kind of pick up where they left off you know that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here but I feel like there's someone new coming in your life but I feel like this ex is not liking this at all they feel offended they feel very defensive like they thought they had a chance to get you back and now that may be over so now they're pulling all the stops to get your attention before this other person has you forever you know they feel like they're at the end of the line and they don't have any more time to make things up to you okay yeah we have heartbroken Someone is heartbroken about you. And someone may be asking other people about you. Asking other people what's going on in your life. Hearing rumors or something about the things that you're doing. The people that you're seeing. And I feel like they're more caught up. Unconditional love again. Yeah. Someone loves you. Someone loves you an awful lot. But I feel like there's this knight here. This knight of cups wants to propose. He wants to give you an offer, an engagement ring. You may be engaged to someone and someone from the past is coming back because they still love you they've heard that you're engaged and now they're like they feel like they're at like the end of the rope so they want to give you some kind of information before this goes to the next level okay um, but I feel like you're very happy in this situation with this person who proposes with this new offer, I, I feel like it brings a lot of excitement, a lot of joy. You may be doing a lot of traveling with this person. Um, but then this person from the past comes back with all of this energy and all of these promises to do better, to make things better, to, you know, not end things the way it ended before. You know, because they still love you. They still care. But I feel like this person only wants what they can't have because they see that you're attached. So I feel like they're coming in with these promises. With these empty accusations saying that they love you unconditionally. That they want to make things right. I'm not sure if that's going to last past this breakup with your proposal. Okay. Um, so I'm not. I kind of feel like they're just here to sabotage. I don't feel like they're here for the right intentions. Okay. So take it how it resonates. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay? Let's get a message from this oracle. What do we need to say to Sagittarius? Opportunity. There's an opportunity here. I feel like it's an opportunity that you've been waiting for. 
And there's also another opportunity to take back someone who may have wronged you, may have left you heartbroken, or you may have left them heartbroken. But I feel like you have, you're at a crossroads, Sagittarius, or you're coming to a crossroads. Um, do you go with the past or do you stay with the proposal? We also have perfect timing. So, I think things are going to work out in your favor when it's meant to. And we have within the next few months. So, within the next few months, you're going to have a decision to make. There's going to be a crossroads you're going to be at. And you need to decide if it's going to be your proposal or this person from the past. Oh, we have forgiveness. Hmm. I'm getting a feeling that you may forgive this person for what they did in the past. Um, but I'm really feeling like forgiveness doesn't mean that you will be taking up residence with this person. That's what I'm that's the words that I'm getting, taking up residence. Okay, so I feel like there is forgiveness here for this past person. But I'm not sure it's going to lead to any new opportunity. Okay. Well, maybe. Maybe not. You have free will. Success. And no need to worry. So I feel like the universe is working this out for your favor. We also have look for a sign. So... Um, let's see. I'm going to get an angel card because I feel like we need one. Give me a message for Sagittarius, please. A message for Sagittarius. We have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. So I feel like whatever this is, whatever the situation is, you already know the answer. And you've already picked your path. Okay? So I feel like the universe is letting you know that you've grown. Maybe it's that you've grown past this person. This past person that's trying to come back. Um, but I feel like with this Three of Wands energy and this soul expansion... You're growing through this situation. We have call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. And walk your talk. Yeah, the, the universe is letting you know to back up what you say. Sagittarius. If you say something, mean it. Mean what you say and say what you mean. You know? Um, exactly. That's exactly what I'm getting for you. So, Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have all of the March readings up. So, take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and maybe even your Venus if you know it. That'll give you more answers that you need. Okay? Until the next time, many blessings to you, Sagittarius. Love and light.